The tragic death of a popular dentist is leading to a change in local law. Lorraine Rector was hit and killed as he cycled in Murray County. Now, the woman behind the wheel has yet to be charged, but Murray County is not waiting to make bicycling safer for everyone. Channel 4's Dennis Farrier is here now with more. You know, we didn't realize that on rural roads, if there's no speed limit posted, it's automatically 55 miles an hour. That's about to change in Murray County, even as this case remains in limbo. Dr. Loray Rector was such a servant at church, at work, he was constantly doing things for other people. Now his county may finally do something in his name. In Tennessee, if there's no speed limit posted, then the speed limit is automatically 55 miles per hour. Murray County is expected to unanimously drop the speed limit on Bryant Station Road to 35 miles per hour. Murray County has grown rapidly and we have more cyclists now, and, uh, bicycles and motorcycles, and uh, we, we've had that rapid influx of these type individuals and they have a right to be on the roadway too, so we have to take the steps necessary to let our citizens know when on top of a hill go around a curve, they may run into this type of rider. Certainly a help, but when you go out to the road where Dr. Rector died, you wonder if it was speed that killed or just a lack of attention. The THP says the driver was coming across the hill here, crossed over into the other lane, hit Dr. Rector head on, driving him all the way back to where that cross stands. Cyclists say, there's obviously at least two violations. There's a violation of the three foot rule, three foot close to a cyclist and also reckless driving. Question is, what's taking so long? There's certainly frustration on the part of the cycling community, but as I mentioned to you, there's not a lot of surprise. The THP says the investigation is still active, not complete, and there's no reason to be hasty. They want to get it right. Even casual observers say there must be some charge. Although the bicycling community firmly believes bicycle car accidents are never a priority. As a citizen, I would think that when someone hits a, hits a person with a car and kills them, that that's, you know, you think of the phrase vehicular manslaughter at a, at a maximum and at a minimum, uh, the, the, three foot, the three foot roll. And with the loss of life, you know, a three foot citation is the minimum. That's, you cut it to give a cyclist three feet. There's also the whole reckless and careless driving issue. We don't know what the holdup is on the investigation, and we don't want to speculate. We will see what happens next and report it. Demetria? Dennis, thank you.